Ja let me look at my room Oh yeah, ja mju Dance away your sorrows Nah, baby mju Hi guys, welcome to B&G TV. I'm Basola Shapeju and today we are here with Mike L. So for those who don't know you, because I like, I always like starting off personal, just to, you know, get to know you. So what is your real name? Well, you're not trying to that. My real name is Michael. Okay, yeah, well, that's very evident, but you know, some people would know. How old are you? I'm 18. And today's his birthday. Just see me to let them know today's your birthday. He came on my show on his birthday, which is so nice. Okay, so describe yourself and what you do in one sentence. I am a young, upcoming artist from South London. Well, you seem very, you know, are you, is the camera making you a bit nervous? No, no, no. You're just, you're just, I'm just trying to judge yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, did you learn to sing or do you think you were born to sing? I think I was born to sing. Oh, really? Okay, so do you reckon that you're a good singer? I think I'm a good singer, yeah. You get that a lot, yeah. that you're a good singer. Sometimes. Okay. Okay, so a recent Instagram and, and Twitter post, and this has gone like viral, as in um, one of your CXCV members um, tweeted it, and like it's gone viral. So it's like, and the free, it's a freestyle to um, work the work beat. So will you eventually make this into an actual song? Just have to wait and see in it. He he will, because he told me before we started. <laughs> <laughs> we started. But since he doesn't want to say it, I'll say it. He is, it is going to be a proper song. Like I said, then. we'll wait and see. It's, yeah, he will. He will. Okay, so how did that start? Like, with that, what was the inspiration to do that? Like, what's the story behind that? Um, It's just a, it's more of just like music, isn't it? It's a vibe, mm. I think. Like, yeah. when you're in the vibe, when you're in the mood. Yeah. And then you were just there, and then Hannah was like, yeah, let me catch this on camera. And then Had who? Hannah. Oh, the Remember? guy who tweeted it? Yeah. One of your CXTV members. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> like, if you actually don't, we'll get into that, don't worry. Right, so, a lot of your songs, like, More For Sure and Mojo and, like, it's like, it's about a girl. Yeah. So, it's like, is there a girl you, you are singing all of this to? Because, like... This question here, yeah. we did see an Instagram post like a lot of people and still on your Instagram with you and some very very pretty light skinned girl. So is that your girlfriend then? No, that's not my girlfriend. So do you have a girlfriend? Maybe. What's maybe? Claim your girl. What's maybe? <sighs> Who knows? Who you knows? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I feel like this interview. I feel like we're not because you know when you've talked before and you just know. So it's like. We're not giving a lot of way away, so it's like sorry guys, but we'll get into it. Um, we'll get into it. Okay, so yeah, back to your song more for sure. So people are actually loving that. Thank That's you. a recent one. Thank so you. what was the inspiration behind this and um, the video? With more for sure, I because I actually made a song quite a long time ago. Okay. So I try to keep it. I try to have like the same kind of mood vibe, mm, like that. Yeah. So really, that was the inspiration behind that. How mm. could I like? Make something different, yeah. but it had like a same feel same as music. Okay. Yeah. But what what would you say to people who are saying that a lot of your songs are starting to sound the same? Because I know you just said you wanted to have, but do you think that's a good idea to still have that same kind of wardrobe? Because it all seems like you're just holding on. I put it this way, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like my all my songs sound the same, man. Mm -hmm. but. Mujo, you can because we saw the reaction, like we saw how people. Yeah, yeah. So, for me, it's like if something's working, why would I? Like if someone, if people are attracted to something, why would yeah, I like? So, what, are you gonna it? stay on that kind of? I won't form. like. I'd say. That's me. That's my mm -hmm. vibe. Like that's the way I like to flow yeah. music. That's that's something unique about myself. Mm -hmm. So I can't really change that. But yeah. obviously, you have to learn how to be like diverse mm -hmm. and like change it up a bit. So obviously, I'm gonna try. But yeah. Get me. That's me. That's my vibe. Understandable. So, to clear everything, um, so are you part of CXCV or do you just make music for them? Not for them, with them. Oh, with them, okay, yeah. yeah. So you're not part? No, I'm not part of CXCV. Okay, so why, why aren't you 
part of them? Um, no reason in particular. Mm. Like, I just want to be my own individual artist. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Guys, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell them that like, as in he rehearsed that reply. How did I rehearse it? Because we, we spoke about <laughs> this. <laughs> and he said, I'm just going to say, someone asked me if, if she asked that oh, question. Oh, go on. Yeah. So I said, if she asked that question, what are you going to say? And I was like, I'm just going to say, I'm just my own individual. Because so that am. was, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. But you have rehearsed that. You knew you were going to say that a week yeah. ago. So you're now saying it now. Well, you always plan in advance, everything you do in life. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, um, you know what, I was gonna I was gonna say, okay, if if you were part, where do you see them in five years? But because you're not part, so do you see yourself still working with them like forever, like as in cause it's kinda weird because I feel like a lot of people no one knew you weren't part of them. I don't think a lot of people know that, so it's like you need to explain it, you need to go deeper because you're you need to can you? Yeah. Um, hmm. First, I'll ask, I'll ask you the first question. That was, um, would I see them in five years? Yeah. I think they've got some good things coming up in it. I think they'll be in a good position yeah, in the next five years. Um, and I feel like I'll, I feel like I'll be a part of that, but not. Not. Like a part of it, yeah. kind of. If you know what I mean. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's that's what I think. That's what I see them in the next five years. You know, I'm thinking if I should. Imagine, you know, snake you, but I will... I don't think so. You should, I shouldn't. Yeah. What do you have to say to people who said, said you was just going to be a one hit wonder with Mojo? Um, <sighs> the people who call me a one hit wonder, it's like, I ain't like, I believe in myself in it. I know I don't make, I know like I make good music in it. Mm -hmm. And it's a thing, people when you call me a one hit wonder, not, they don't, they're not listening to my songs, they're looking at the reception I'm getting. Yeah. Because I'm not getting the same reception as I did when I made Mutual. Mm -hmm. That's why they call me a one hit wonder. Yeah. But they're not really listening to the music. If you really listen to music, they're like, right, yeah, this guy makes good music. But mm -hmm. people are expecting the same thing yeah. that happened to me like a year ago. So mm -hmm. that's why it seems like yeah. I'm a one hit wonder. Understandable. So um, in one of your recent videos, we did see a preview at the end yeah. of Hagen. So, and people want to know, they expect me to ask this, when is that? I know you're not going to tell me, but when? Soon this year? Or, you know, we have... I'm, I can't really put a date on it, but I don't think it will be that, too long. that was actually, I actually like that. Alright, thank you. So, yeah, I don't think we do. like, it's only right, it's, it's really only right, like, to ask you about um, SK and your song and the story because we've heard his side like if you haven't heard his side guys you know go and watch that video and it's only right that you explain your side and we talk about it as i said this is a conversation like this is god like we just talk about the the process like because i remember how do okay i remember your when your song came out and my first thoughts were okay this is slower that's what i said <coughs> this is slower and at first i wasn't really feeling it until you hear it more and it's like okay this is actually all right but how does sk feel like how does he feel about this song i went on the tl and it was just you mm. know like, it was like there were people there were some people who were on your side and there yeah. were some people like why would he still sk song da, 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 da. and then obviously when i interviewed sk you you know what he said and it's like What's your side to defend yourself? I'm just going to be real with it because at the end of the day, so it's going to be my word against his and it. No one's really going to know. Yeah. But I feel like with the whole situation and me covering the song and everything, I don't feel like I've done anything wrong. What I've done is nothing new. I'm not going to be the first person to do it and I'm not the last person to do it. Mm -hmm. The bottom line for me is if what I did, if my cover was rubbish, then this wouldn't happen. Yeah. There wouldn't be so much controversy around it. Innit? Yeah. Like, I'm not the first artist to do it. Like, even artists way bigger than me have done it. Mm -hmm. So, like, the way it came about was, obviously we did speak. Oh, so you did, yeah, we did tell him then? Yeah, I did tell him. But, obviously what he said was not really what happened, did it? But I don't really need to go into it. Okay. But, the bottom line is... So what, what I, because I figured, I, I figured he said that um, mm -hmm. you should put his name on like the title. Okay, mm -hmm. so, why did Why didn't I? Yeah. Like, come... Um, 
Well, it says cover in it, like that should tell you that. Obviously, no, but who's cover? Who's See, this is this is this is why people don't really know the depth of the situation. Like, if I come with you respect, I expect yeah. you to respect me back in it. Yeah. So we spoke. Mm -hmm. Some things were said, and I just did my own thing. I thought this is what I think I should do. I don't think. So you His just thought, no, if it, like, yeah. that conversation did not work out how I thought it would, so. Yeah. Did you expect the, the backlash to be as big as it was? No, nah, I didn't, you know. I was, I was kind of shocked in it. Cause did you start to regret? No, nah, I never regret. Never. So you were happy? Like, I wasn't, I, was, I didn't really like how, if, like, what was really going on on Twitter mm -hmm. and all these things, but yeah. I, at the end of the day, like, I've got a million views. What is there really to? Like, I can't. Yeah. I can't. I can't. There's so much negatives, but then yeah, around it, there's so yeah. much positives. Mm -hmm. So, but it's like I don't know. I'm. I'm gonna talk for the people. Mm. Like I'm done with saying my own opinions, but because it's like, imagine you, you now you're doing performances and that, but people are probably thinking that's not even your song, mm. and you're blowing off someone else's song. This is for the people. Wait, when I'm performing, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know what anybody's thinking. Yeah. But when I'm performing, I'm good as long as I can see a group of people dancing, moving, having fun. Yeah. That's what I like. As a performer, my like my job is to make sure whoever I'm performing to mm -hmm. they're enjoying themselves, they're mm -hmm. feeling the vibe. And when I perform, I feel the vibe yeah. from the crowd. Mm -hmm. So, where, what, if they're thinking that that's not you, yeah. someone that psh, I, I hardly see that because I see too many people enjoying themselves. Mm -hmm. So, so what do you mind. have to say to the people who claim that? Because since you said you're not part of CXCB. When that song came out, I thought everyone thought that was CXCV, like they've done a cover. So what do you have to say to people who now say you hid behind CXCV and let them take the blame kind of thing? Because I don't think you took much blame. I didn't people let them... People thought it was CXCV. I didn't song. let them take the blame. Like, I just, I just didn't want to be a part of the whole tour issue. Like, I'm like I'm not, I'm not the type of person to do hella tweets and yeah. all these things. So they decided to tweet. Like obviously, yeah. when it was happening, I was telling them that like, I told like I used to tell them that they want you lot to reply. Like yeah. to what they're saying, Everyone, they yeah. want you to reply. If you don't, if you don't say anything, then eventually it's just gonna die down. Never yeah. forget what like, they decided to do. That I decided to just yeah, stay in my corner, yeah. keep doing what I'm doing. So I didn't really let them take the blame. Like everybody, like it's like it's a free country. You can do what you like. Yeah. I can't control you. Because I feel like watching this, people, I feel like people have gotten their answer, I guess. Mm. But okay, so when you watch the SK interview now, how did you feel? Like, what were your thoughts to what he said? Honestly, true sports. Because you were saying way more before the cameras than you were saying. Honestly, that. honestly, like, I feel like some of the things he said were a bit off, like, they didn't need to be said in it. I feel like they were off. I didn't really see a reason for it, like, cause before I started making music, SK was someone I listened to, innit? Yeah. He was someone who inspired me, should I say? Yeah. Like when he made it, like, I was on my way to a football tournament, yeah. and then my friend showed me a song called "Let's Go," didn't it? Yeah. And like, let's say for that whole day, I was just banging that tune, innit? Oh, like, obviously, when the whole situation came about, I was like, right, this is someone I actually used yeah. to listen to, and like, this was someone who inspired me. So now, now to see him acting in such a way towards me, it's like, right, like. So you know you could, you could see it as an achievement. Yeah, like, for me it's an achievement. Like with all, like I said before, with all the negatives, with all the negatives. Yeah. I still see it as a positive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where do you see, and who do you see yourself like teaming teaming up with in this UK industry? Like anyone in like that you want to just have a song with. Um. So they can watch this and then. Uh. Anyone I would want to have a song with. Yeah. I'll be realistic in it. I'll be I'll be like people who from what I've seen so far, yeah. I feel like. So like, like I have to shout out to most of that because you always showed me yeah. that I'd love like to do yeah. something one day. Yeah. That'll be mad. How was it how did it feel getting that recognition from him? Um it was it was kinda of mad because his genre is not Afrobeat, isn't it? Yeah. So like for him to listen to my type of Afrobeat mm -hmm. like I must be doing something kind of rap because he's he's a big name in the industry, like yeah. So I think that's a big thing for me to make a song with him. Will be will be big. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Why do I feel like you're probably gonna make a song with him anyway? What do you mean? Like, I feel like you. Or oh, was it the wrong Instagram where you, you guys have a picture together, or no, was no, that no. not your Instagram? You don't have a picture. Yeah. Or you have a picture of him on your Instagram? Yeah, I have. I have like a few still, but he he just listened to my songs. And then, oh, and then you just wanted to put a picture. Yeah, I just I wanted to put out people to know that. You get me? That. My stacks. Of songs. He's supporting the vibes. Okay. Brand. Great. Okay, so did you just with regarding that like, Mordred, Did you just wake up one day and think? Because you did say, okay, you used to listen to SK. Mm. So you woke up, woke up one day and thought, okay, you know what? Let me take this hook, add this, add that. Or how did it, where did this idea come from? Mijo, yeah. Mm -hmm. how, like, like you just said, I listened to SK. And then Mijo was a song that he made. Yeah. So it was kind of accidental. Like I was just at my friend's house, yeah. yeah. And my producer came over in it. Mm -hmm. And he was just playing Hello Beats. Yeah. And then one, that beat came on. And I was thinking that literally that's just what I just started singing in it. Mm. And that's just that's just what came about. And I didn't know he was recording me in it. So yeah, that's what and then put on Twitter. So you, you you stole the song by accident? I didn't steal it. I was just vibes in like <laughs> I was just vibes in like yeah. <laughs> you know when you vibe fam, whatever goes goes. Yeah. Like, you can't really control it. Yeah. And then that's what came that's 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 just what happened. That's what came out of my mouth. And then yeah, I remember it being on, it was on Twitter first. Yeah. And then you thought, oh, this reaction is... Yeah, like, as a, as a performer, entertainer, like, you give people what they want, innit? Yeah. Like, initially, it wasn't my intention to turn it into a song. Yeah. But if there's numerous people saying, mm -hmm. oh, you need to make yeah. this into a song, you need to do this, all of this, then... Yeah, I mean, that's what I did. And now look. Yeah. Okay, so, um, one of our interviews that we've done with um, someone else called Teo... Yeah. Um, he, he's, I think he said, you know what, I can never, I do so many interviews that I don't even remember so much, so I think he said that you were overrated. Yeah. And he also said Viani was overrated, which I just didn't get, but, mm. so what was your, like, thoughts on, did you watch that one? Yeah, I did. What was your thoughts when watching that? Um, when I was watching that, like... For me, it wasn't really like it's not really an issue to me. You know? you're, you're free to say whatever you like. Yeah. You know? That's his opinion. Mm -hmm. Remember, this music thing is all about opinions. Yeah. What you like, I might not like. Mm -hmm. So that's just his opinion in my eyes, isn't it? Yeah. Like, but I feel like, like he said, Rihanna is overrated. Like, I feel like if he wasn't Rihanna's position right now, yeah. he wouldn't. He wouldn't. See, like, but no, like it's only because he's not in that position. That's why he feels like he's. Yeah. He can say that. Understand? Mm -hmm. But like, if he was, then he wouldn't really have much to complain about. Yeah. People don't know how to take stuff in it. Some people just. That's a bit salty, innit? Yeah. Like, obviously, we spoke. Yeah. He, he he wanted to do a couple of things and work and stuff, and obviously, I'm on my own vibe now. Like, yeah. I'm trying to get myself myself out there as yeah. an individual artist. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't see that. And I feel like That's he just came on the show and just reality that. So, basically, he, he heard that he was like, yeah, I want to work for you. He said no. Then he thought to himself, you know what? Cool. Cool, cool. I'm going to go on this show and I'm going to basically. Yeah, and say that. Do you think I'm over it? I actually don't. Reasons. I think, I think you're you have um, the right publicity for what you've done. Like you, it's not too much and it's not too little. I feel like Mojo was good. I feel like the um, more for sure that that's good. And I feel like you know the freestyle. Mm. Those are my probably three favorite. The freestyle that even I, this morning I was talking about it. Like so, I don't think you're overrated. I feel like yeah, you get the right. Thank it's you. not Thank too you. much. It's not too much. So when he said. You're overrated. The thing is, at that time, because this was what a f like a few months ago, when he said that, I, I only knew you from Mujo, so yeah. I didn't really reply. But now, thinking about it, it's like, you know. So, what is new coming for you? Like to end the year, what do you have to begin twenty seventeen? Like, I know you're not trying to give too much oh, away, yeah. but at least let's get excited. Like, what should we do? I mean, like you said before, Pagans, innit? Yeah. That should be coming. This year? Hopefully, hopefully. I think, mm -hmm. I think that track got, got a nice feature in it yeah. as well. In that, because we did see a name was... Blurred out. Blurred out. Yeah. So is, is that someone we all know? Yeah, everyone knows him. Do you know what, yeah? Do you want to bet that it's most stack? I think it's most stack. Maybe. You know, I feel like if I put two, I think it's most stack because 
Thinking about it now, it's like, mm. so is that the shear then? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. So okay, what? It's in the, it's in the pro you processor. Know, that sounds like a most that kind of song. You know how most that has lines, pagans, yeah. all of that. It's the most that in it. Okay, yeah, so what else? What else? Oh yeah, obviously, obviously the work thing. Mm -hmm. um, this year. Working on that. This year. This year. This year. Okay, this year. Work. Yeah, the work thing definitely has to be this year. And um, I've got, I think there's another song called Late Night. Okay. I think that's probably one of my favourite songs. Really? Yeah. And but even Mujo? I think it's better than Mujo. Really? Yeah. Okay, and we'll it, look out for that one. What I like about it, it's not even Afrobeats. So what is it? Just you singing? And it's just when it comes out, and yeah. people know. But I feel like that song will. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the song that will really like be like, yeah, Michael's back. Okay, yeah, yeah that better come out. I feel like that. that and the work thing will be like, mm. yeah. Okay, so where can we find you? Your Instagram, um, Snapchat, Twitter. Instagram, Michael underscore OTK. My Twitter, Michael underscore Music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where you can find Snapchat. me. Snapchat. Don't you want to give all your girlfriend won't you? I'm, I, I can't, I've got a girlfriend in it, so I can't. I can't. Hey, I love it when a nigga claims his girl. Well, that's enough from me and Mike L. Definitely tune in for our next episodes. Bye, guys. Say bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>